All right, so this video is um, I've been getting uh, questions on how I go about getting rid of the uh, the blue when I do my uh, inks over blue line. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Uh, this is my preferred method. Um, once I, I I make sure that I scan all of my uh, work uh, is scanned in a 600 DPI. Um, 67%. You can do 100%. DC has us turn in our work at 67%. Uh, and uh, I, I always scan in RGB. Um, so this is the document scanned. And normally I'll just go in and um, grab this from the other screen. I'll adjust my curves. And there's usually, I don't do too much with my uh, scanner settings as far as the tone and different things like that. I usually do all that in Photoshop. Um, so there's a bit of a blue. My scanner scanning like a, it's like a bit of a blue uh, tint to it. So if you just grab the white and click on anywhere where it's blue, it kind of brightens it up. Gives you the white. So that's how I take care of that. And then I'll just sort of bump over my blacks <clears throat> and it's not usually the final um, I'm just kinda getting it to where uh, uh, where I wanna be at comfortably for right now uh, so this is just for the purpose of showing you how to get rid of the blue um, I just simply zoom in. This is a good area because it's a solid chunk of blue. Um, and I use my wand tool and I select. And it's selecting all of that blue stuff. All the blue lines information. And then from there over here, where you have your uh, your uh, foreground and your background colors, you want to just the short commit shortcut key is to hit D, and it makes it makes it uh, black, and then white is your background. <coughs> and I just usually hit delete, and it's using the background color, which is the white. You select and you have where the blue is gone and from there actually you know what I'm gonna show you what's kinda going on we'll do this if you uncheck your layer so it's not flattened you'll kinda get an idea What's going on? See the 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 checkers in the background is is the uh, sort of the background where it's it's just basically shows you what was deleted. And you see all the little information's gone, even up through here. So flattens it. Gets it back to white. Um, so your your blue is gone. It's still in RGB. So from here, I select the blue channel, and just to make sure, and I hit grayscale because you're gonna have to convert it anyway. So you might as well just go ahead and take the next step and get rid of the blue from the blue channel. Um, so that's it. That's the simplest way to get rid of your blue alright uh, I think that's it